Okay, so in this video, I'm actually going to introduce very few things and wrap up Unit 1 Introduction to Economics. And I'm going to explain why in terms of the syllabus. Um, the remaining content of this unit is, for one, modeling the economy using something called the circular flow of income model. And there's also a section on how economists approach the world, including a not too detailed history on economic ideas from Adam Smith, classical economics, Keynesian economics, etc. And for one, for this model, it comes up again sort of throughout the syllabus in both unit two microeconomics and unit three macroeconomics. So I thought it might make sense to introduce them there or in a completely separate part so that's sort of available for all the units. And in terms of some economic history, I thought maybe a short reading would suffice rather than a video. So I'm just mentioning this here so that you would know that these things are present in the syllabus, just not covered in a video. Um, what I am going to mention in this part from this part of the syllabus is one thing that I think is important to know moving forward into Unit 2 Microeconomics, which is the Keteris Paribus Assumption. The Keteris Paribus Assumption just means all others remaining equal or unchanged. So just that excluding this one thing that we're talking about, all other conditions remain the same. And I wanted to introduce this assumption here because it is a very important one in economics. Um, in economics, we have a lot of diagrams to illustrate theories, and we often use diagrams to illustrate a change. So let's say here we have a shift in our demand curve. And to illustrate this change that made the demand curve shift outwards based on whatever economic theory, we need all other conditions of this market things like the supply curve, factors that influence the supply curve, all those to remain exactly the same for us to examine the impact of the change in the demand curve. So this is a foundational assumption in economics that allows us to show changes in one thing and explain its impact while keeping all other conditions the same. So this catcherous paribus assumption will underlie almost everything we will do in future units, so I thought it'd be a nice one to introduce here, just so that we can keep that in mind. Okay, and that is where I'm going to wrap up Unit 1, Introduction to Economics. Hopefully, that was like a little nice taste of what IB Economics will be like, and I will start the next video with Unit 2, Microeconomics.